Uh, okay, greeting ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the part two of the uh, traditional Zulu beaded vest. Uh, today what I'm going to show you, uh, uh, because we've got the two belts, we have done the two belts, the one that is going to cross here and the one that is going to go down, we've got it. So then now what I'm going to show you is how to put these spider webs we call it spider webs i'm going to show you how to put the spider webs but firstly we're going to join them we're going to join uh, these two belts here so then after that we put the spider webs so now remember uh, we've got this belt two belts the one with uh, uh, seven dices one two three four five six seven and the other one with uh, three dices one two three so what i'm going to do i am going to center the small one i'm going to put it uh, uh, nearby uh, the center one my nickel putting my nickel back so remember when i, I told you that when you do a, a knotting, when you when you knot a, a thread, as told you that don't put it nearby where uh, you will start or where you will finish your work. Make sure that uh, your knot, you put it a little bit far away. Okay, I'm putting my thread now. My nickel and thread okay I'm going to join this section I'm going to use beads in joining this section okay I've got two beads I've got two beads I'm putting these two beads here I'm skipping two I'm pulling I'm pulling. All right. So one bit. One bit. You see? So then I'm going to pick one bit again. one bit again i'm going through to the two here on top okay so it's gonna be one bit again i'm going to this section of the small belt so i'm going to pick one bit again and i'm going to the two here i'm going to the two here So the, the final one is where I'm going to pick two beads. Okay, I've got the two beads. Now, what I'm going to do, this thread that I'm using is the one that I'm going to start my web with. I'm going to tie it, but I'm not going to cut it because it's the, it's the same thread that I'm going to use to start my web okay let me go down let me go down all right remember i'm using two colors the web is up to you uh, how you're going to design it 
so you, you you i'm going to show you how to design it but it's up to you how to put your color for me i'm going to mix like this okay then i'm going down with the two bits like this and then my web is gonna sit like this Okay, my next line. So this is how I'm designing my web. You can design yours the way you like. So I'm going here. I'm coming back with the second bit. You see, I already starting to design my web. So there is no kind of sequence that you need to follow uh, it's up to you how you like your web uh, to be shaped so for my one it's gonna have a, a big purple here my purple is gonna be big here and then my yellow is gonna go like this it's not gonna be that much okay what i'm starting to do now i'm starting to open up my purple so then now you can see my purple started to be one three five now but my yellow is going two three four it's gonna be five but the purple is straight it's gonna stretch up so you can see how i'm building my one so then what i've done here i've started with as uh, the yellows it's one two three four five that's how it's the, the colors grows they grow by one by two by three four five seven eight nine ten but the purple is go as goes like one two three five seven nine eleven thirteen fifteen seventeen so then as well as but you can shape the way you like so then but this is the only way that uh, you can do it so then and then you're going to do it up until uh, you finish up uh, up to here you can uh, end here uh, it's up to you how long you want the web to be and then uh, it's just, it's, it will depend on your on what you like so others they like it sometimes end here some they want it to be filled up so and then it depends the way you like uh, to do so then and then when you look at this one this one has been done has been done uh, all the way is full all the way and then when you go this way and then this way and then it's full so it's up to you how you like to do it okay so now you do it like this so and then you may you make sure that you maintain whatever design that you want to keep here so like for example as i've, I've done here i was increasing by two this this side I was increasing by two here was increasing by one by one so then but it's up to you whatever you want to do so then you're going to do the other side then you put the the strings as fasteners then you are done